This is the video for lesson four on my website, Basic Edition. It's a two-part lesson on my site. Many students are allowed to use calculators in class and on exams, but it's very important to understand how basic arithmetic works and how to do it quickly by hand. What you'll see later is that many standard exams like the GRE and the GMAT don't allow calculators. And if you don't know how to do basic computations quickly and easily on paper by hand, you'll really be in trouble. Let's start with some very basics. One way that we can add is just to count on a number line. So for example, to add 2 plus 3, we would just start at 2, move 3 spaces to the right, and end up on 5. That's all addition really is. We're just combining by counting. Let me show you a trick that I find I use quite a bit when I need to add certain numbers. Let's say I want to add 9 plus 7. Now, it's certainly good to be able to do that in your head and just to know what it is. What I find, there's a little shortcut that I find I use just in my head when I need to add these numbers. What I'll do is I'll make the 9 a 10, and what I actually did was I added 1 to the 9, and then to compensate for that, I'll subtract 1 from the 7 to make it a 6. Make sure that you fully see why you're allowed to do that, why that works. Okay, now that it's 10 plus 6, it's very easy to see that the answer is 16. So that's just a little trick that you can keep in mind whenever you need to add numbers such as 9 plus 7. Increase one, decrease the other one, and you'll have a much simpler equivalent problem. Okay, now let's see how to add some larger numbers. Let's say I want to add 128 plus 35. Now, notice what I did. I lined up the ones places over the ones and the tens places over the tens. In the case of the second number, there are no hundreds, but I do have the one, the hundreds place for the top number where it should be. So it's very important to line up your numbers, otherwise you'll get a completely wrong answer. Now, when adding, we always start on the right. We always start with the ones place. I'm going to add 8 plus 5, which is 13. Now, I'm not allowed to write the entire 13 in the ones place. So what I can do is I can write the 3 in my answer. That represents the three ones. And then I have to carry the 1. I'll write a little 1 in the tens place to show that I still have 110. Okay. Now we'll add up this column here, the tens column. I have the 1 that I carried, plus 2, plus 3. And that's 6. There's nothing to carry there. It's just plain 6. And now in the hundreds column, I have 100. And there's actually no ones, there's actually no hundreds in the second number. So I can just write 1 as my answer. Now let's try another addition problem. For this one, I'd like to add 98 plus 49. Again, notice how I lined up the ones column, the ones place on top of the ones place, and the tens place on top of the tens place. As always, we'll start adding on the right. I have 8 plus 9, which is 17. All I can do is write the 7 down here in the ones place and carry the 110. Now I'll add 1 plus 9, which is 10, plus 4 is 14. Now we could just write 14 down there, and that would be correct, but what we really have is a 4 in this column, and then we have to carry the 1. 1 plus nothing here gives us 1, and the answer is 147. It's important to understand that when we added 1 plus 9 plus 4, we were in the tens column, and what we really got was 14 tens. Now, 14 tens is equal to 140. That's why we had four tens and we had 100. That may be a little tricky, but it's very important to understand the connection between the place values. This is just a very basic introduction to addition. Make sure you feel fully comfortable with everything that I've shown you in this lesson, and that you can do problems like this very quickly and easily without a calculator.